Hello, so today I have a book related video for you. It's been a while since I filmed any book videos, partly because I've not been reading so much. I kind of went through a phase where I just wasn't reading so much, so there weren't many book videos. But I'm trying to get back into it, so I've decided to film a book video and hope that it will inspire a bit more reading. I'm just going to show you what I've read recently. Like I said, it's not a lot, but I will show you a few things I've read recently what's on my to read list and also what I am currently reading. So let's get going. The first of my recent reads is one I read a little while ago. This is Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gromwell. Now there is a full blog post about this book on my blog so I'm not going to speak about it too much because you can head over there and read that. I also know I've mentioned this in videos before. But this is a book about a teenage girl called Nora who suffers a lot with mental health issues to the extent she can't leave her house. It's about how she meets a boy next door, falls in love, as they always do in these books. Anyway, the, um, there's a bit more to the story. There's a twist at the end and it's kind of about how she goes on her journey of mental health and relationships. And it's just really beautifully written as well. There's something quite poetic about the language in it. So I really like that. It's a YA fiction, so it is aimed at quite a young reader. I quite enjoy reading a YA fiction. I find it's just a bit easier to take in, especially kind of when I'm tired. You don't really have to concentrate when you're reading it. Language is always very digestible. And yeah, I, I like the storyline as well. I love a bit of a like chick flicky book. There are some kind of serious issues covered in this book as well really great book. Look, full blog post on chloeharris.com where you can read all about it. The next of my recent reads I'm pretty sure I've spoken about in a favourites video and I've touched on, on in a blog post and it is this one. This is Ice Cream for Breakfast by Laura Jane Williams. I really like this book. I definitely spoke about it a lot so I'll link where I spoke about it before but this is about how Laura became a nanny for a while after publishing her first book and what she learned from children. And it's kind of like self helpy but not cringe and it's just very useful and is very easy to read and her language is very digestible and makes a lot of sense. And yeah, it's just everything she says makes sense and there are some tips in there which I've kind of taken away with me. I recommend reading this. It's a really nice book. The last book is this one. This is The Secret by Rhonda Bryn. And you can take off the cover as well, so it's just a red cover with a gold spine. I was going to include this in my favourites video for um, September, but I filmed the video and the entire thing was out of focus, so you didn't get a favourites video for September, but this was one of the main things I wanted to speak about in this video. And this book is a book on the law of attraction which I find very interesting. It's definitely, if you really take into account what it says, it can really make a difference to your life, this book. You've got to be willing to buy into it. You've got to be willing to believe it because you can either read the book and think, oh, this is a load of crap and it's not going to do anything. Or you can read the book and think, this could be a thing and maybe I should incorporate it into my life. So the law of attraction is basically the idea that you, what you think about you attract and you can get anything you want from the law of attraction as long as you know how the law of attraction works. It's a really interesting theory. I think I believe in the law of attraction. I think I really related to this book when I read it and it's kind of also helped me change my mindset. Before reading it, I was in quite a negative mindset things just weren't how I wanted them to be so I was feeling a bit down but reading this has kind of made me feel better and made me realise that I can get into the right mindset that I need to and when I'm in that mindset things will go my way better so I really recommend this. The only thing I don't like about this book and is not the writing is the actual copy. The pages are glossy. Really not a fan of that. I also really don't like the cover but it's a really really good book and I believe that if you're willing to read it and make it in properly the secret could change your life so I'd really recommend that 
even if you don't read the book, maybe just do some research on the law of attraction because it was really interesting and I think it's worth believing in it. So those are my recent reads. Like I said, there aren't many and that is over quite a wide period of time as well. Next, I'll do what I'm currently reading, I think. Now, the first two of these, I started reading quite a while ago and just never finished reading them, but I will get back into them. First is this one. This is by... Jen Sincero, this is You Are Badass at Making Money. Now, I read You Are Badass and bloody loved it. And I do really like this book, but I've got to be in the mood to read it. But I think it could be really interesting. And I think when it comes to making money, a book like this is kind of worth reading. I like Jen's style of writing, although a self-help a self -help book, her style of writing isn't kind of that cringe self helpy style. I just really... I like this so far, but it's one of those books when I put it down, I don't think about it for a while. I might think about it the day that I put it down, but then I've gone a few weeks without reading it because I've kind of forgotten about it. So I don't know how much I do like it, but I'm not very far through it at the moment. So maybe as I get into it, I'm only on page 46. As I get into it, I might enjoy it more. The next is this one, The Little Black Book by Otega Uwagba. This is great. I I think I have read most of this because it's very, very small pieces. There's just a few bits I haven't read. This is basically a really small book with just tips for kind of work and things. Um, there are some good tips about how you should deal with your finances each month, kind of how you should plan your when you get your wages, how you should plan and where I should go to what, which I found very useful and it's actually helped me save some money. And there's things like really practical things like how to reply to certain emails, how to give a good presentation. So it's just tips for work in life that is really practical and really easy to read and it's a really small book so you can carry it around with you. Um like I said I've read most of it but there's not there's a few bits I haven't read but I could pop it in my bag and just read it kind of on my lunch break and I would get read pretty fast because it's really small, which is quite nice about it. The last book I'm currently reading, I am enjoy probably enjoying this one a bit more. I'm not putting this one down too much. I'm, really, I'm actually reading it each night. And this is Grit by Angela Duckworth. And this book is about, it's kind of like a psychology book about hard work and passion and how they will pay off and why you need them in order to be successful. It's really interesting but also really boring at times. It goes like quite deep into psychological studies. And if you're not um, like really a sciencey person, I guess that can be a bit boring, which is what I'm finding. But I like the whole concept of the book and I'm finding it very motivated in reading it as well as making me want to be more gritty. And next I've got my to read list. First on my to read list is Always With Love by Giovanna Fletcher. Basically I brought this a while ago. I read Billy and Me and this is a sequel to it. I read Billy and Me and really liked it. It is quite a chick flicky book Billy and Me. I think I speak about it in a video a while ago. I'll see if I can link that below anyway. It's quite a chick flicky book but I enjoyed it. I liked the characters. I enjoyed the story. So I bought the sequel. But I started reading it and realised... Um, why did I stop reading it? I was going to say I realised it was a Christmas one, but it's not the Christmas one. Oh, I know why I stopped reading it. Cause, because there is... Um, I think there's a kind of a smaller novel which is a Christmas version in the series which you don't necessarily have to read because I think it's quite short but I wanted to read that so I stopped reading this so I can get that one at Christmas time I think it's just Billy and Me Christmas with Billy and Me so yeah I stopped reading this so I could get that at Christmas time and read that at Christmas time and then read this one afterwards so that is why but that's on my to read list. Next book I've got this is this one. I've not really heard is a Kate Tempest book, The Bricks That Built the Houses. I've not heard all that much about it, although I really liked Kate Tempest's poetry, so that is why I bought it. 
but I've not actually heard that much about this book that I saw and I was like I need that because I really like Kate Tempest the novel um so yeah that would be interesting to see how that turns out the next is this one which I just thought was adorable when I saw it it's a little book from kindness it's kind of like a coffee table book I guess it's very pretty but looks like it's it's quite wordy inside I mean it's pretty but it's also wordy it's about why kindness is important and I just thought that would be a really lovely read so we've got that one and the one that I have been meaning to read for the longest time but hadn't had a chance to pick up is this one Girl Boss by Sophia Amoriso of course the founder of Nasty Gal I feel like everyone's already read this and I'm late to the party and also I bought the hardback and look how nice the spine is without the cover on it's got pink embossed I kind of I was interested in reading this but I didn't for ages because I I didn't know I guess I didn't really I felt like everyone was reading it and it was probably going to disappoint me and then I watched a series on Netflix and it wasn't what I expected to be honest so and I really enjoyed it as well. I'm a bit gutted that they aren't going for another series, but if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. So I'm looking forward to actually getting on the hype with this. It'll be interesting to read. Also, part of the reason I didn't want to read it is because Nasty Girl got shut down for a while because they ran out of money. So I was like, well, kind of put me off a bit. But I don't know. I'd be quite interested. Also, I quite like the Girl Boss podcast as well. So, yeah. That is the last one. So those are my recent reads, my current reads and my to read list. If you have any recommendations, especially fiction, please let me know below because I want more books to read and it's been a while since I've read a good fictional book so I'd like some recommendations. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did, please like the video if you did and I will see you next week. Bye!